Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Um, back here with Curious Gorge, and yeah, let's continue our warrior quest into Heaven's Ward. Serenia, scars recognize you. The flames of battle have tempered you like fine steel. Since last we spoke, I resolved to start upon the path of a warrior anew. I swore, but I would not succumb to a beast within again, as I did when I faced my brother in Wineport. Speaking of which, Broken Mountain has regained much of his strength, though when I speak to him of taking up the axe once more, he changes the subject and returns to his studies of Akanema and other scholarly pursuits. Nevertheless, his desire to spread the teaching of our ancestors to every corner of Eorzea remains unchanged. And he couldn't have come at a better time. I've just as received a letter from Broken Mountain, stating his uncovered information regarding ancient and martial techniques. If you're interested, and I'm sure you are, why not accompany me, why not accompany me to Camp Bronze Lake so that we might hear what he has to say together? I've never been in here. <laughs> I knew a true warrior like you would never pass up an opportunity like this. Well, do I remember you, Zerenium, the sole warrior to tame her inner beast. I shudder to think what might have happened had you not been there to save us from ourselves. You know the pre the nature of the forces we wield, as well as the consequences of losing control for even a moment. The beast does not scruple to discriminate between friend or foe, and if given free reign, will lash out at both. I have poured over countless tomes in search of knowledge of how to tame the beast within as you did, but my efforts have thus far proven fruitless. All I have found are ridiculous tales of techniques that if the author could be relieved, would make Walga himself cower in fear. The Elder often told tales of legendary warriors to inspire the youths. Are you sure there's no truth in yours? Quite. There are descriptions of the techniques used by the hero Mithril Heart, but the details are difficult to swallow. No warrior, dead or alive, can rip off a beam of his arm with his bare hands. The tales are filled with similarly outrageous accounts, brother. It would be a waste of time to investigate their veracity when we know so little of how to tame the inner beast. Besides, you know as well as I that Mithril Heart is not more than a fairy tale hero. What if I could prove that Mithril Heart was flesh and blood? Would you be willing to continue your studies then? Never did he stray from the path of a warrior, even if the years took his toll, took their toll. Axe in hand, to Silver Tear Falls he would go, never to return, which means that if he truly lived, then there may, may be something there which proves it. Keep your axe sheath, Gorge. You'd be, be better served by time spent swinging your axe in practice, dummy, than searching for ghosts. Waistcoat? Well met, Serenium. My thanks for ensuring that my old friend here lived to learn from his mistakes, although it seems the lesson didn't stick for long. Whisket here has been kind enough to keep my brother busy with work and assist me during my recovery. Anything to keep the former comrade out of trouble. As for these stories, far-fetched as they may seem, I wouldn't be so quick to dismiss them. Lest we forget, Serenia is more than a few legendary accomplishments to her name. Well, if by chance she found proof of Mithril Heart's existence, I would reconsider, but leave my brother out of it. I may not be ready to accompany you, but I can give you advice on where to start. Seek out the sons of St. Koinak. I am certain they know something of Mithril Heart's final journey. Okay. And Madonna. Because this is where Silver Tear Falls is. 
Blair of Midgard Stormer. You know something, Mary? Hmm. Well, when the waters of Silver Tears Falls retreated 15 years ago, they built a treasure trove of artifacts spanning eras, many of which have yet to be recovered. I do not know if any of those artifacts have any relation to this Mithrilad, but it might serve you well to begin your search in those previously submerged areas. Relics belonging to an ancient Hellguard warrior? While we are up to our necks in Alagan artifacts, I cannot say that I have come across any that could be what you seek. Um, who else? Clint Tota. We focus our research search on artifacts from the Alagan Empire. As such, there may be more recent discoveries which were ignored by a single-minded researcher. After cursor research, you find nothing of interest. I guess I found an axe. Well, have you uncovered any proof of Mithrilhard's existence? An aged battle axe, featureless but for the init initials MH, crudely engraved into the haft. This axe, the engraving of a curvature of a braid are exactly as described. To think of a beast who tasted this steel. Surely this proves that Midrath is no more is more than a mere campfire story. With a steel heart and his legendary techniques, we'll have the strength to slay even the strongest of beasts by the dozen. If Mithrahart's feats are indeed possible, then the knowledge of how he performed them would prove invaluable in restoring the warrior's reputation. You could show the people of Eorzea the true potential of the warriors. Surely no small, small number of them would feel compelled to take up the axe. Indeed, it could prove a great boon for our cause. Very well, I will return to my tomes and scour them for any passages relating to Mithril Heart. Mind you, ancient techniques may rouse the inner beast like none before. Of that I have no doubt, which is why you must not take your training lightly. I, when I uncover more information, you must needs be ready. And because I leveled already ahead, let's continue. I can tell you have not really neglected your training, Serenia, which is good. I have continued my research into the tales of Mithril Heart and his legendary feats, and I believe I've come across a passage which may, may guide your next step. Before I share my findings with you, however, there is another matter of pressing importance that must be resolved before we continue. 
A ferocious beast has been sighted near the Weeping Saint in the Curve of Central Islands. And I would have you, me and my brother go and slay it as it poses a threat to any who venture nearby. I realize that this may seem like a trivial matter, but I assure you that it is of the utmost importance. So in that corner over there. Where is the point? That's not it, this is Chimera. This is it. Broken Mountain? What's going on? Thank the twelve you made it. The beast caught us unawares. My brother leapt to my defense and slew it. But in that moment... He was overcome by his inner beast as before in Wineport. I knew it was folly to bring him here. I beg of you, stop him before he hurts himself. The beast is... Each attack only serves to goat the beast. Fleece, insignificant whelps. What has he become? Reflection of past battles rouses your inner beast. So Enya, speak to me. Thank the gods you're awake. When your final blow landed, you and my brother both collapsed. What happened, Sir Enya? Do you remember anything? There was a chain. Your inner beast lashed out as if trying to escape? I see. The lingering numbness is likely your body recovering from the shock. Otherwise you appear to be unharmed and in full control of your faculties. I owe you an apology, Serenia. Once again, I lost control. I will attend to my brother's wounds. You needn't worry. Alas, as I suspected... My brother yet lacks the strength to control his inner beast. As you may have guessed, I called you both here to see if my fears were unfounded. I did not wish to give you cause to worry, brother, but when the beast stirs, my mind grows clouded and my will falters. Or perhaps I remained silent to avoid facing the bitter truth. Who would trust a protector that could turn on them at any moment? It pains me to do this, but I cannot allow you to accompany Serenia any longer. The risk is far too great to you both. Mayhap it is best we continue this conversation in the safety of Camp, Camp Brown's Lake. God damn it! Serenia, you've, you've grown so much stronger while I've hardly grown at all. Show Eorzea what it means to be a true warrior. I... No. I know you can. And back 
to camp by one's leg. So, my brother has been in a dour mood ever since we returned from the Weeping Saint. Well, that's only natural given his lack of progress, and it may be for the best. The techniques, the teachings of our people are too dangerous for those who lack control. That is why I chose to focus my studies on how to tame the inner beast. For the sake of my brother, I wanted not more than solve this dilemma, but then fate intervened and I stumbled upon the tales of Mithrilheart. But perhaps we need not forsake one pursuit for the other though, and seeking the techniques of Eld, we may discover a reason why you can hold the beast in check so easily while my brother and I fumble around like children. However, I'm still concerned about what you told me before, about your inner beast lashing out during your duel with my brother. Can you tell me of that once more? Simply recalling the duel rouses your inner beast from its slumber? Wait, it all makes sense. Only the flames of animosity may temper a warrior's soul. I came across these words in a passage, and I did not understand their meaning until now. The inner beast stirs when we face an opponent who pushes us to surpass our physical and mental limits. Only in that moment can we attain mastery of new techniques. This must be how the heroes of Eld, like Mithrilart, became such legends. They traveled the realm, testing their metal against the fiercest foes they could find. Your path is clear, Van Serenia. You must challenge yourself as they did. You must grow stronger and own your skills to new heights. Okay. Any idea where I could find such a beast? You again? Well met, Serenia. It seems your trials have prepared you for the next step down your long path. However, while your progress is truly remarkable, I'm afraid my brother still fears the fury of his inner beast. Even with a training yard, he swings his axe with hesitation. Seeking to test himself against life force, he has joined the Maelstrom's efforts to repel a recent spate of cobalt attacks. However, Vaisket has sent word that his ferocity on the bat field of battle is not what it once was. My brother has long admired your will. Test your axe against ever stronger adversaries and master the techniques of Eld, and by doing so, serve to inspire him and all who aspire to walk the path of a warrior. Remember the words set forth in the ancient tomes and seek foes that test the very limits of your bo mind and body. The heat of battle will awaken the inner be the beast within bestowing upon you the knowledge of our ancestors. Luckily, the path you walk has been tread on before and you need not wander the land aimlessly. According to t the tomes, Mythfulheart once spent a season hunting the hulking grizzly bears that stark a Abel Balafia's spine, the largest of which are said to rival even a behemoth in size. Make your way to Tailfeather, home to many seasoned hunters that know the lay of land and the creatures that inha inhabiting it. Find the beasts of Mithril Heart's hunt and test yourself against the razor claws as he did. So, who can help us? Who knows something? Remaklon. Ask any hunter around here about the grizzlies of Abalafia's spine and they like to tell you the same wing. thing. You see one? One. Okay. You're a right fool if you're thinking of going after one of those massive beasts alone. Best bring about a dozen friends along if you want to come back in one piece. If you got the man, then I've heard th I've heard the hunting parties using Vilum Salmon to draw them out. If you head up the Vilum River, you'll like to find a few what died during the Salmon run. I 
I, I can, I can hardly forget the size of a beast I saw that day. I was tracking a chocobo around the hundred throws when I spotted a bear near big as a house, drinking its fill from the water. I didn't dare get any closer, and went home from that day's hunt empty-handed. Get myself a fish. And lure of a giant bear. While I'm grizzly. <laughs> Fell down. That's already it. Ah, oh, Serenia, welcome back. My brother and Wastegat just were just telling me of a maelstrom success in Lanosia. I have a cobalt scattered as frightened mice before our wrath. I dare having twice before setting foot in. Laments and soil again. Serenia, as eager as I am to hear of your journey to Abalafia's spine, I can't avoid to waste any more time away from my training. The kobolds may be licking their wounds for now, but they'll be back and in greater numbers. Till next we meet. Ugh, curious Gorge has acted in high spirits su since we all returned from Laminsa. But his bravado scarcely hides the truth. What he said was true. Our, op operations, of co our operations against the kobolds were a resounding success. However, troops had not fought alongside him say that Kiri's Gorge was noticeably shaken during the battle, as if afraid the tide would turn at a moment's notice. But it was not fear of the kobolds that caused his axe to waver. He still fears his own inner beast. As long as this fear has a hold on him in battle, and there's little hope, he will grow as a warrior. The kobolds become bolder with each passing day, and the Maelstrom's forces are spread too thin. Maelstrom command is desperately seeking ways to supplement its flagging troops. They're considering bolstering, fi bolstering fighting strength by training troops in warrior techniques, so Curious Gorge's capabilities have come under special scrutin scrutiny. However, if fear continues to hold him back, I doubt he managed to impress anyone. Once again, we are left wanting for a means to tame the inner beast. Serenia, was there aught not learned from your journey to the Dravanian forelands that could be of aid? Ah, and in the same manner as before, the memories of battle have roused in the inner beast. So my theory was correct. The key to mastery lies in the heat of conflict. Just as the ancient tomes say, only victory against a worthy opponent can temper the inner beast. So when your growth as a warrior has given us valuable insight into the true nature of the inner beast. However, there is still much that remains shrouded in mystery. And there is still the question of what exactly sets Serenia apart from your brother. Indeed, the tools to tame the beast within are hidden somewhere. I just have yet to find them. 
Serenia, continue with your training while I return to the tomes. A solution will present itself soon enough. Okay, and with that we learn Felcleave, which is an upgrade to the Inner Beast attack. Collection of past battles was your Inner Beast. Blah, 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 too, far, blah, too quick. This one here. 590 now. What was the old one? 350. Okay. But that's enough for this episode. Um, once I've leveled further up, we continue. And yeah, see where this leads us. Until next time, I'm Mace and don't get lost.